I am of the belief that literally anything is possible with Brandon Bean in this draft coming up. Well, that certainly makes things more fun. Perhaps you've heard the Bills need a wide receiver, and there is a chance they make a massive trade up the board to take one of the top guys, like Malik Neighbors from LSU. I'm not a big advocate of trading up, especially in such a deep wide receiver class, but he would be worth trading up for. So that brings us to the big question. Would the Bills actually trade multiple first round picks and then some for a guy like Neighbors? Malik Neighbors, outstanding touchdown catch from Jaden Daniels. Who's a- this year, because the, there's such going to be such a rush on quarterbacks and the depth or the, the talent at wide receiver, where they've got three receivers who in most years would be the top receiver off the board, all in the same class, I think that presents an opportunity. Now, it just depends on how aggressive Brandon Bean wants to be and, uh, and the cost of doing business. Neighbors can do it all. He's not a perfect prospect, nobody is, but he is someone a lot of experts think has superstar potential, which could potentially be worth all the assets it would take to get him. He checks every single box out of a number one wide receiver today. He's relatively young. The yards after the catch ability is, I think, as good as I've ever seen out of a wide receiver prospect. It can also get down the field. I think he can can absolutely just blow a hole through a defense everything you're kind of looking for and he and he lines up all three different spots the slot x z you can you can put him anywhere you want so i think for neighbors he projects well into the bills scheme if they were able to go up and get him and they would definitely have to go up neighbors is expected to be a top 10 pick